bilang isang video hobbyist, it's very flattering to be asked kung paano ko nga ba ginagawang cinematic ang mga smartphone videos ko. Mukha flattering ka eh, isang tao lang naman yung nagtanong. What is up YouTube? Welcome to another video. Today I'll be sharing the things that I do in making my smartphone videos look cinematic. Just wanna give a quick disclaimer. Hindi po ako filmmaker or cinematographer. These things that I'm gonna be sharing are things that I've learned in the past 7 months in trying to create cinematic videos for YouTube. So in this tutorial, we're gonna break it down into two sections. First is the shooting and second is the editing. And before we even start shooting, laging tandaan ang mga bagay na to. Always shoot in landscape. Kasi nga, gusto natin maging cinematic. And yung mga mata natin, nasanay na sa landscape orientation whenever we watch movies. Next is to make sure na nakaset sa highest resolution available yung camera settings mo. Lastly, always shoot with the highest frame rate para ready ka kung gusto mong mag-slow mode during the edit. Okay, so sa shooting na tayo. Dito papasok ang creativity ng may hawak ng camera. Dito makikita kung paano mo ikokompose ang mga shots mo. And here are the five things that I do whenever I shoot cinematic videos on my smartphone. Number one, as much as possible, hindi ako nagsushoot ng eye-level angle. Kasi nga, that's a very common angle na nakikita natin with our own eyes. Kadalasan, eh, low angle yung ginagamit ko. Unless needed talaga sa story ko, like hero shots. Almost all of the time, things look so much better when shot at a low angle. Number two, shot variety. One subject, multiple shots. Let's say ang subject ko ay puno. I'll try to take multiple shots of that subject. I'll have my wide shot and medium to close shots. Isa itong paraan para talagang ma-feel lang nanonood na nandun siya sa scene na yun. Number three, I always try to look for a way to frame my subject. Ginagawa ko to kung gusto kong i-emphasize yung isang subject sa scene. This also adds more depth to the video, making it more cinematic. Number four, I also try to look for foreground for my subject. Gaya ng framing, I use foreground to add more drama sa scene. Adding depth, hence making it look cinematic. And number five, I always try to introduce movements to my shots. Kung hindi gumagalaw yung subject mo, move your camera para hindi magmukha slideshow yung video mo. Ang go-to camera movements ko are the tilt and pan. But also remember not to do long and fast pans kasi magbumukhang amateur video yun. Another thing to remember is always make sure na stable yung shots mo pag nagmumove ka kasi hindi magandang tignan ang shaky footages. Now that we're done shooting, let's go to the editing part. This time I have 7 things that I do whenever I edit my videos. Number 1, Background music. A good film is 50% video and 50% audio. So napaka-importante na piliin ang tamang music na babagay sa clips mo. So what I do is to go to free resources like YouTube at doon ako namimili ng mga music depende sa mood ng nabuo kong storya. Number 2, Sound Design. One way to bring the viewer to the scene is sound design. So lagi kong ini-integrate ang sound effects to my videos. Number 3, Transitions. Bukod sa hindi ako marunong ng mga Sam Coder, Ben TK transitions na yan, for me, mas pleasing pa rin yung simple cuts from clips to clips. Mahilig din ako gumamit ng mga in-camera transitions. Let me know in the comments kung gusto nyo ng tutorial ng in-camera transitions using your smartphone. Number 4, the 3 to 5 second rule. Speaking of transitions, I make sure na hindi lalagpas ng 5 seconds ang isang clip sa frame. Every 3 to 5 seconds, nag-iiba dapat yung frame para hindi ma-board yung nanonood. Number 5, slow motion. To add more drama and emotion sa video, namimili ako ng mga sections na isuslow mo ko. Ginagawa ko din to to set the pace of my video. May ginawa akong separate tutorial kung paano maging smooth ang slow motion clips. Check mo mamaya. Number 6, color grading. Ito ang isa sa mga crucial parts sa editing. Admittedly, pinapractice ko pa rin to hanggang ngayon. Ang ginagawa ko is play around with the light and color adjustments para ma-achieve yung tamang kulay. I then apply a lot na dinadial down ko kasi most of the lots are not designed for smartphone videos. Just keep in mind to always stay in the safe zone para hindi sobra at hindi rin kulang. And number 7, export settings. When I export my video, tatlong bagay ang siniset ko. One is yung video resolution where I make sure na nakaset to 4K 
para makompensate niya ang quality loss pag ina-upload na siya sa social media. 2. Yung bitrate. I make sure na nakaset to the highest available bitrate para maganda ang output quality. And lastly, yung frame rate. I make sure na nakaset to 24 frames per second para natural tignan yung motion and movement ng clip sa video. So there you have it guys. Those are the things that I do whenever I shoot and edit cinematic videos using my smartphone. Always remember na kahit gano kapakagaling mag-edit at mag-shoot, story will always be king. And that's it for me. Maraming salamat sa panonood. If you learned something today, huwag kalimutang i-like ang video at i-share ang video sa mga fellow mobile shooters natin. Subscribe ka na rin kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe. Kung may time ka pa, pwede mong panoorin ang mga cinematic videos ko dito. At kung gusto mo naman ng iba pang tutorials, you can check it out here. And again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.